That's what I call a sunrise. That's huh? beautiful. Oh, yeah. Name again, Dad? Saskatchewan, son. Oh, come <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, I know come Saskatchewan. Come on, Dad. It's Saskatchewan. It comes from a Cree Indian word, kids. You remember that. You took it in school. It's so flat. Oh, just here, Ellie. It's not all as flat but as this. But it's so pretty. Yeah, isn't it? The Indians of North America's Central Plains believed that a supernatural spirit existed in everything around them. But it was the sun they respected most and honored with a sacred dance, celebrating its life-giving strength, refreshing and enriching them with its summer warmth. The human spirit restored by the spirit of the sun. Saskatchewan, Canada's undiscovered vacation land. A quarter million square miles at the heart of the nation, blessed with vast natural resources. Home to a million of the friendliest people you're ever likely to meet. The only Saskatchewan many people know of is this, the flat, wide-open prairie of the southern grain belt, where almost half of Canada's cultivated farmland can be found. Beautiful? Yes. But it's just one face of a province that's full of surprises. Forests, deserts, valleys, and 100,000 lakes. Great vacation spots and unforgettable outdoor adventure. All this blessed with more hours of summer sunshine than anywhere else in Canada. From the moment you arrive, you'll sense something special here, a wholesomeness and an informality you'll take to instantly. Down-to-earth people, always ready to help, and a network of tourist information centers across the province. So it never takes very long to get to the heart of the action. Here, kids, have a look. Here's home. Right here, that's Saskatchewan. Oh, Don! <laughs> I know, dear. No question, the pro rodeo circuit in Saskatchewan makes for some of the hottest action around. And if you think the animals are tough, wait till you meet the cowboys. So bring your boots and your Stetson, because when it comes right down to it, there's a little bronco buster, a little steer wrestler, a little frontier spirit in all of us. Saskatchewan people sure know how to enjoy themselves. And the good times come naturally. Whether you're kicking up your heels at the Cowtown Rodeo or letting down your hair at the Big Valley Jamboree. Left the city in a pickup truck. Gonna make some dreams come true. If you've ever watched silver jets in formation streak across the sky, you'll know the thrill of the Saskatchewan Air Show. The two-day event is held at Canadian Forces Base Moose Jaw, home of the internationally acclaimed stunt team, the Snowbirds. There's something in the air that seems to have a funny effect on people in Saskatchewan, because whenever a crowd gathers, seems the first inclination is to find a starting line, a finish line, and something, anything, to race in between.
Saskatchewan summers were made for the outdoors. A magic blend of untouched, unspoiled wilderness. Lakes, forests, solitude, and sun-drenched scenery. Big, beautiful, uncrowded parks. Almost three million acres all told. Many where the backwoods trails and superb fishing are just footsteps away. Parks like Duck Mountain, Moose Mountain, Meadow Lake, where the world turns a little slower, the air's a little fresher, and for a time, you too can become part of these rare and cherished surroundings. Shield lies Prince Albert National Park, a million acres of aspen and pine, and waterways spilling into lakes its best dad doesn't try to pronounce, like Makasu, Amiskawin, Ajwan. The park provides that subtle mixture of pine-scented wilderness and civilized comfort, the ideal combination for campers like dad here, who may not want to leave the amenities of home too far behind. the park stands the resort of Waskasu. Shops, restaurants, hotels, horseback riding, tennis, lawn bowling, and more. And on the edge of town, long sandy beaches, each with its own special kind of view. If you'd like to test your skill, the Waskasu Golf Course is probably the finest in the province. Cast in scenery that makes the final score, well, almost irrelevant. Then, if you want to see this lovely resort from another angle, you can always cruise the lake on board a genuine stern wheeler, the Neowatan. gentle spirit more at peace than here in the northern reaches of the province, one of the last vast unspoiled frontiers in North America. The scenery breathtaking, like Nestoiac Falls. The air clean and crisp, the experience unforgettable. Big lakes with big reputations, Larange, Wollaston, Reindeer. Outpost camps tucked away on lakes seldom fished. Here, it's rumored the big ones line up to bite. Uncounted and often unnamed lakes, rivers and streams run with a dozen variety of sport fish. Northern pike, walleye, lake trout. The region has one of the largest concentrations of fishing resorts anywhere, and the place is jumping. For anglers, big game hunters, canoeists, this is paradise. North of the 55th parallel, the Churchill River offers some of the most challenging whitewater canoeing on the continent. More than 50 canoe routes are mapped and documented in the north, the paths of early fur traders and voyageurs. An ever-increasing network of highways links the north to the major thoroughfares that crisscross Saskatchewan. Opening up the region to outdoor adventurers like never before. Speaking of adventure, how about a different kind of vacation? 
on the land, with a family, on a farm, where you can share in the spirit of rural Saskatchewan. There are animals to feed, new friends to meet, a new lifestyle to enjoy, and really get the feel for country living. You can even lend a hand and pitch a bale of hay, or talk to the animals. It's a relaxing, rejuvenating kind of getaway, tonic for today's fast-paced lifestyle. From country life to big city spice. By the look of things, the city of Saskatoon is fast becoming the water slide capital of Western Canada. It's the city of bridges, a great place for shopping, sightseeing, exploring, or spending a day with the ponies. Alive, invigorating. The sprawling University of Saskatchewan is here, high on the banks of the South Saskatchewan River. Alma mater to John Diefenbaker, Canada's 13th Prime Minister, the campus is now home to Diefenbaker Centre, an impressive public archive and museum. Across the river, the Mendel Art Gallery shows works of local, national, and international Canadian artists. Up the street, the Bessboro Hotel stands like some grand sentinel. Saskatoon's turreted landmark for half a century. And when you're ready to wrap up the day, you will wonder just where to start. Or when to stop. Each July, Saskatoon celebrates its pioneer roots with a week-long city-wide exhibition that takes a running start with Louis Riel Day alongside the river. A Saskatchewan vacation can be a fascinating journey through time. Here, there are more museums per capita than anywhere else in Canada. Saskatoon's Western Development Museum, part of an excellent network, provides a living legacy to the pioneers of the Great Plains. Stroll the longest indoor main street on the continent. Do a little 1910 window shopping. This spirit of the first explorers, the first settlers, lives and breathes at historic parks and museums throughout Saskatchewan. Like here at Stanley Mission, the first Anglican church in the Northwest and the oldest building in the province. The Motherwell Homestead, faithfully restored to its original stately grace. And Batoche, focal point of the Northwest Rebellion of 1885. It was here that Métis of mixed French-Indian heritage took up arms under the leadership of Louis Riel. Federal troops were dispatched. A full military assault ensued, and the nation's first and only naval attack on the prairies took place. On a November day in Regina in 1885, Riel was hanged for treason. As much as by the personal ambition and vanity of that man on trial. His famous trial is reenacted each summer not far from where it originally took place a century ago. It's one of the longest running and most successful stage plays in Canada, where you not only witness history in the remaking, you can even become part of it, as members of the audience play the jury. You shall be hanged by the neck until you are dead. And may God have mercy on your soul. The setting for the play is Saskatchewan House, the Lieutenant Governor's Mansion, refurbished to its turn of the century grandeur. To appreciate Saskatchewan's heritage, spend a day in the awe-inspiring badlands of the Big Muddy Valley. The region, alongside the U.S. border, was once a hideout for outlaws like Butch Cassidy, Sam Kelly, and the Wild Bunch.
Living history, an unforgettable experience. Like joining an authentic covered wagon train along prairie trails first charted a century ago. This is Fort Walsh in the Cypress Hills, one time headquarters for the mounted police, the Redcoats who brought law and order to the wide open West. Here, history is reenacted with authentic characters and costumes. The best food goes to the officers. And just a wagon ride away, Farwell's Trading Post, once operated by frontier traders who indulged in illegal whiskey trade. This, too, is the site of the 1873 Cypress Hills Massacre, one of the catalysts to the formation of the Mounted Police that same year. The history of the RCMP is the history of this province. And for more than 100 years, Saskatchewan's capital city, Regina, has been home to Canada's Mounties in training. In fact, the RCMP chapel at the Regina Barracks is the city's oldest building. You can tour the chapel, the academy, and the priceless Centennial Museum, a gold mine of historical artifacts. Regina was a mere infant of a community in 1882 when it was named headquarters of the Mounted Police in Canada. Today, the Queen City of the Plains, as it's called, blends a proud and colorful past with a spirited cosmopolitan personality. The distinctive hub of the city is Wascana Center, a 2,300-acre park with a man-made lake. And the word must have gotten around because flocks of waterfowl have come to stay. You'll need a full day to enjoy all the sights of Wascana, like the provincial legislature and university campus. Trafalgar Fountain, originally set in London's Trafalgar Square. Speaker's Corner, complete with gas lamps from London's Hyde Park. Albert Street Bridge, the world's longest bridge over the shortest expanse of water. Ethan Baker's Homestead, humble beginnings for one of Canada's former Prime Ministers, John Diefenbaker. The acclaimed Museum of Natural History and the Saskatchewan Center of the Arts. But save a little time for shopping too in one of Regina's suburban malls or at the heart of the city where a revitalized downtown blends the old with the new. While you're in Regina, take in a game at Taylor Field home of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders of the Canadian Football League. Each summer, Regina is the scene of Bizart, an arts and crafts fair that draws thousands to Wascana Center. An intriguing part of the story of Saskatchewan is told in old world customs and crafts in the woodwork, the pottery, the weaving, and native crafts. The Handcraft Festival in North Battleford is Saskatchewan's finest, reflecting the delicate charm and painstaking workmanship that make for unique souvenirs and cherished keepsakes of your journey through Saskatchewan. Regina is also home of the Canadian Western Agribition and the Farm Progress Show, a multi-million dollar exposition of farming technology with exhibitors from around the world. Don't miss Buffalo Days, a week-long frontier festival, a pageant of denim and old lace, one of Western Canada's top tourist attractions.
Saskatchewan. It's sunshine, spirit. Room to spread your elbows, to enjoy yourself, to roam free. It's a special kind of place, a warm and friendly family place, unhurried, uncrowded, at times unbelievable. I want to come back again. Can we come back again, Dad? We sure can, kids. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Saskatchewan. It's the name you'll always remember and the vacation you'll never forget.